What's your favorite seasoning and sauce? <sighs> Who knows? I mean, shit. Paprika. I love paprika. No doubt about that. Um, and believe it or not, when I mean my steak, I love Bernays sauce. I do. I do. Those are the, those are the answers to my question. Uh, Sean at Coach Sean Bell writes: Who's the most disrespected athlete who is currently playing their respective sport? Disrespected. Hmm. I'd have to say, of all the disrespected athletes I can point to, believe it or not, despite the fact that I can be critical sometimes, I'd go with LeBron James. I mean, when you're a four-time champion, four-time league MVP, you're playing in your 21st season, third, age 39 years of age, you're about to eclipse 40,000 points for your career. You're the all-time leading scorer in NBA history with the accolades that you've achieved. Surefire, first ballot, Hall of Fame, and not a single vote should be against him. The level of appreciation we should have for him and his greatness, um, we don't give him enough credit. We can say that, but I'm going to take it a step further. What I appreciate most about him is his conditioning. He should be an inspiration to all of us. Because when I watch LeBron James, I marvel at the fact that the brother never, ever appears out of shape. Ever. And I got to give credit where credit is due to that. Um, next up, look at this guy. At Fed Aguirre, right? How much would a wood, how much wood would a wood chuck chuck? If a woodchuck could chuck wood. That's some elementary school shit you threw at me right there. When I was in elementary school, I had an answer. I'm a bit older now. I don't remember. So I have no answer to your question. But I appreciate it. I do. Last but not least, at Butt Crack Sports. What kind of damn name is that? Butt Crack Sports? To my producers, make sure this is the last time I get a question from this, this site, this, this, whoever the hell this person is. This is ridiculous. Put the tinfoil hat on for a second. What conspiracy theories do you believe? I believe aliens really exist on the planet Earth. I don't think it's an accident that Independent Day was out. I, I, don't, I don't think like that. I, I don't think that as human beings on the planet Earth, we're the only species in this universe. I don't believe in that. I, be, I, I you know, I ain't gonna lie to you. I, it went, I wouldn't put it past it. I mean, I'm not gonna say I walk around thinking about it. Oh my lord, I'm fearful of it. You remember that movie They Live that starred Rowdy Roddy Piper? And you remember when you had to put on these glasses, and if you put on the glasses, you could see certain people who were aliens and certain people who were not. Remember that. I think about movies like that. I think about movies like Independence Day. I think about movies like Men in Black, one and two specifically, with Tommy Lee Jones and Will Smith. You know, I think Will Smith was in the third one as well. I'm just saying I think about stuff like that. I would tell you that that stuff to me is not far-fetched. I don't think about it much. I ain't walking around panicking or anything like that. I just think that when we're talking about is inspecting the moon and walking on the moon and going to Mars and all of this other for us to think that we're the only creatures in the universe is just it's 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 ignorant. I do believe. And what is the definition of an alien? Somebody that's not from here. You see what I'm saying? So for me, is every species something that was made to be on Earth? 